Welcome everyone. My name is Claire Shinton and I'm the Chief Commissioner for Girl Guiding Midlands. This is the first of a series of videos that we're going to share with you called Chat with Confidence for Commissioners, where we take a topic and answer some frequently asked questions. Today I'm delighted to be joined by Rachel, who is the Region 18 to 30 Coordinator, and we're going to be discussing all about Inspire. Welcome Rachel. Thank you very much Claire. So, do you want to tell us a little bit about what is Girl Guiding Inspire? So, Girl Guiding Inspire is essentially a stepping stone between the formal programme we have for rainbows, brownies, guides and rangers, and then on to becoming an adult volunteer. So, Girl Guiding Inspire is a peer-led offer. It's all about exploring the wide variety of opportunities available through Girl Guiding and discovering the different ways to volunteer and enjoy social experiences with like-minded friends. The 18 to 30 age range is a particularly transitory stage of life. For example, it can include moving away from home for the first time, starting new jobs, potentially going off to university, buying your first home and starting a family. Girl Guiding Aspire is intended to be a supportive community for young women during these years where their lives diversely change and provide flexibility to choose opportunities right for them as their circumstances change. Members can engage as individuals or amongst a network of peers. This may take the form of establishing regular meetings with others locally with help from county coordinators. It could also be working independently towards awards, sharing experiences and having discussions with other members online. It can be joining in with regional and national events, seminars, trainings, or it could even be organising one-off adventures with friends made at any of the events or opportunities previously mentioned. It's intended to be a flexible pick and mix for members to choose how to engage and help organise what suits them. Excellent. And what sort of age do you have to be to join Girl Guide and Inspire? So Girl Guide Inspire is for 18 to 30 year olds. Um, so on your 18th birthday you'll automatically become a member of Girl Guide and Inspire and unfortunately when you turn 30, uh, 31 even, um, kind of you will have your finished time within within Girl Guiding Inspire, but all the opportunities that you've managed to explore within Girl Guiding Inspire will still be available as an adult volunteer. So it seems like quite a good opportunity for the girls that we would normally lose at 18 that would go to university because they're not quite ready for adult leadership but they're still interested in doing some activities for themselves. Is, is, is that sort of what you're saying? Yeah, most, most definitely. It's literally just about finding what's right for them and helping them have that kind of stable point within guiding whilst they transition in that 18 to 30 age gap that it's just about finding the right things for them at the right time. So is there a uniform for this? Uh, and there's no official uniform unfortunately, which is why I'm wearing my own top today. So there's no official uniform, you can have member wear and loads, loads of different clothing pieces that you can buy on Girl Guiding uh, the website from the shop uh, that you'll still be able to have or in your own area you might want to make your own t-shirts, make your own hoodies, but there's no official uniform that you have to wear. We all love a hoodie, don't we? Yes, definitely. <laughs> What is the programme for, for Inspire? So there is actually no official programme for Inspire. It's not an official section, it is an offer. So opportunities are divided into seven pathways with two overarching themes. These seven pathways are Adventure and Challenge, Beyond the UK, Developing Others, Events and Experience, Leading the Way, Sharing Skills and Voice and Action. Alongside volunteering opportunities within each of the pathways, there are also the themes of learning and awards and just for me, for individuals to explore. Learning, learning and awards includes qualifications and awards such as the Climbing Scheme and the Duke of Edinburgh Award. Just for me is then for members to enjoy social opportunities without the pressure to volunteer. So the Adventure and Challenge pathway is all the experiences surrounding outdoor activities and residentials. So that's everything from going for adventures at Girl Guiding Activity Centres to potentially doing any of the Girl Guiding qualifications such as the walking scheme, the climbing and abseiling scheme, the narrow boating scheme, uh, doing some canoeing and kayaking training, but maybe it's also thinking about doing your going away with scheme and having the qualification to take girls away on camps and residentials and from a just for me aspect it's all about enjoying the wide variety of outdoor activities available and also considering planning your own adventures. 
So the Beyond the UK pathway is all about your international experiences. That's everything from gold to experiencing global guiding at a world centre, representing girl guiding at international seminars, volunteering with WAGs, going through selection for international trips, taking part in international trips um, and events overseas, and then even taking part in international events in the UK. You don't have to go abroad to experience an international within girl guiding. It's also then about planning your own international adventure, whether that's going to Disney with some guiding friends, all the way through to visiting all of the five world centres. The Developing Others pathway is all about supporting girls and young women to be their best. So these opportunities may include becoming a mentor, becoming a peer educator, becoming a peer educator coordinator, becoming an ed a peer educator trainer, then also becoming a qualified girl guiding trainer, potentially becoming a action, action for change network coach, but also just supporting your peers as they go through different life experiences and events. The events experience pathway is all about making the most of girl guidings festivals and events whilst learning to run your own. So that's everything from volunteering at international events, volunteering at girl guidings festivals such as weddings and wristbands or the big gig, helping to organise large scale events, volunteering to run local events in your division or a county. And then whilst you're volunteering and learning how to run an event, you can then build up the confidence to run your own event. The Leading the Way pathway is all of the opportunities we would have traditionally associated with becoming an adult volunteer. So that's everything from gaining your adult leadership qualification to becoming an assistant leader with a unit to becoming a leader in charge of a unit, potentially becoming a commissioner, becoming an advisor or even becoming a coordinator. The sharing skills pathway is all about developing and sharing your skill sets that you have from hobbies or in your professional capacity in a way that then works for you. So this may be simply volunteering your skills in your local area. You may also set up a skills pool in your local area to help other people coordinate sharing their skill sets. It could be holding a supporting role in your local area or it could also be volunteering through holiday guiding whilst you're back home from university. The final pathway is the voice and action pathway and this is all about speaking up, taking action and making change happen. So that's everything from the advocate panel to the British Youth Council delegation, potentially taking on girl guiding governance roles, lead volunteer roles, becoming an Action for Change member, again becoming an Action for Change network coach, or from a just for me aspect, it could simply be taking an interest in a local, national, international advocacy campaign. So if there's a commissioner listening that's looking for some support, for some help, for a service team, for project work, Girl Guide and Inspire in their county is a good place to start. Definitely, and it's all about kind of establishing that network of members that we can kind of retain, and it's that social membership that we need to retain with them so that they can come in along as a group to volunteer. And I feel bad asking this, but I know there'll be a lot of people that will want to know the answer to this. Is there any badges? Uh, there is no official badges. However, I can talk from Midlands in the fact that I know that there was many members upset that there wasn't going to be any official badges for Girl Guiding Inspire. But uh, we have established the Your Hub blog for Girl Guiding Inspire Midlands and that's our opportunities to share our own experiences within the pathways and there is a series of 10 badges that you can collect for Girl Guiding Inspire Midlands uh, as a full set and uh, if you write a blog, if you do a video for the blog, if you do a piece of art to express how you've done, we'll put it onto our um, blog and, be able, and you'll get, receive a badge for your hard work and uh, sharing your experience with others. Wow, glad I asked. <laughs> so how do you get involved? If we've got girls that are turning 18 or if we've got leaders that have got young leaders that are due to leave them to go to university, how do they get involved with this offer? So the best way to get involved with Girl Guiding Inspire is that I'd start with following Your Hub and Girl Guiding Inspire on social media. It's there that we post lots of information about how to get involved and any opportunities that are available at the present time. I then also suggest that members check out the Girl Guiding website uh, to get any more information that they uh, want to explore. 
To engage with the more social membership, membership aspect of Girl Gun Inspire, I'd suggest that you get in contact with the county coordinators. They can direct you much more locally for what's available. And they've been running some fabulous events from badging and nights to book clubs, film clubs, to taskmaster evenings, pamper evenings. There's a whole variety of things that the county coordinators have been running. And it's them that will be able to direct you more for the social membership side of Girl Gun Inspire. If you then like any other further information or if you can't get in contact with your county coordinators, you can contact the region coordinators directly and we'll be able to help direct you for the information and opportunities that you're looking out for. I think the most important thing is it's still quite, um, it's not very widely known and I think it's really important that leaders and commissioners do point girls at 18 towards this pathway approach if they are looking to leave girl guiding for university or other reasons. I think it's, it's just really important. That Most definitely. And the, sign post, isn't it? the biggest thing with Girl Guiding Inspire is that actually it is peer led so unless members are active in kind of establishing things and offering to volunteer to kind of run an evening these won't happen so uh, the more people we get involved actually the easier it becomes for the coordinators that we very much are more coordinating rather than constantly organising from that point of view. So, so spread the word. Spread the word, most definitely. <laughs> that is the biggest one. And you just mentioned social media. What social media platforms are you on and how do we follow you? So on the social media platforms for Your Hub, we have a Facebook page um, that's like a public page and we also have a Facebook uh, discussion group um, which is for members to kind of air and share their thoughts on things. Um, but we also have Instagram and we do have the website as well. Loads of other counties have their own Facebook and Instagrams and also uh, Girl Guiding UK has a Girl Guiding Inspire um, Instagram account that I would highly recommend following because even if kind of you move areas, if you DM them, then they'll be able to help point you in the right direction for kind of when you moved away. Brilliant. And do members pay a subscription? Are they are they listed on Go? Is is all of that the same as you would be if you were a leader or on the member section? Uh, so, when you turn eighteen, you automatically become a member of Girl Guiding Inspire if you are a member as a ranger. You do have to still pay a subscription, but you don't have to pay a separate subscription. So, if you are a adult volunteer in a guide unit, for instance, and you're there on a regular basis, um, and your guide unit is happy to pay for your census. Um, from the unit, then you would not need to pay an additional subscription to be part of Girl Guiding Inspire. However, if you're looking for the more social membership, page new volunteer, for instance, if your old guide unit is going camping that you kind of going to come in for that one week, then and you're accessing all the social aspects, then you would need to pay your subscription separately. And the way that commissioners do this is either choose to put them as a division supporting member or a county supporting member, um, and it's up to each county and how they want to manage that but it's up to then the commissioners unfortunately to kind of ask for the subscription from those members so it's just how you want to manage them okay so i think you, you have just said that but you can have a girl guiding role so i could be a leader um, most definitely or a leader in training and a girl guiding inspire member as well exactly although i'm a girl guiding inspire coordinator i'm also a ranger leader and a brand leader and a guide leader so i <laughs> Kind many of hats. Like, many hats. Many so hats. I, so I do. Um, I have active roles, and from a from a personal point of view, um, which I think the commissioners would be particularly interested. Is girl guiding is biased for someone exactly like me, because although I now have many roles, kind of I am now at the older end of that age bracket, and I'm a little bit more settled with where I'm based. But I've actually guided in four different regions in six different counties over the past twelve years. That I've been 18 to 30, and it's because I've had kind of that ever so slight social interaction where I've had leaders that have kind of kept in contact with me and said, Oh, we're going on camp, do you want to come with us? And I've kind of come back to help out every now and again, um, and then sometimes I've then had an active role in a unit whilst I've been at university, sometimes I haven't had an active role, and it's just been that uh, moment that actually guiding has provided that stability for me through this transition period 
And I think that's the key words, isn't it? It's sort of a flexible opportunity whilst retaining that fun friendship membership and, and some sort of stability and normality through some quite changing times yeah. in your people's lives. Most definitely. My, one of my guiding friends says, guiding friends are the best friends. So, absolutely. so it's, a, it's a nice little quote that I always like to have. Oh, absolutely. So if you are right to turn 18 in the Midlands, what can you expect? So when you turn 18 in the Midlands, you'll get a lovely happy birthday postcard that we're currently uh, working on. So when you turn 18, you'll get this postcard. It will have a short description of the seven different pathways. It will also have some contact information for how to get in contact with ourselves. And also it will have QR codes so that it will take you to our website uh, so you, to access information, which from there you'll be able to find your way to the, uh, the national website, which has further information on there. We're also looking to have, once a term as well, a little Q&A session. So for anyone that's kind of just turned 18 and is wanting to kind of have access a bit more information and drop a drop-in drop session to be able to chat and kind of find out some more information as well. That's brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Rachel. Inspire was an offer that I must admit I didn't understand a huge amount about, and I think this has really helped, and I, and I hope it helps the commissioners and the other leaders to really put this offer out to their girls because I think it's really valuable, and, and there's so much going on in this space at the moment, it's important that people know about it. Well, thank you very much, and uh, I do hope that's helped. If you have any other topics that you'd like to hear us talk about on Chat with Confidence for Commissioners, then please get in touch to the office and we will hope to cover all those topics for you soon. Thanks very much. Thank you.